bit of a um, random video. Um, you, if you've watched my videos before, um, you've never seen me um, do a video like this. Having a bit of a low day. Found this out um, earlier on this morning. I woke up, recognised the um, the, the feeling in my stomach and my chest, and um, <coughs> it made me feel very low. My body just felt very heavy, and um, so yeah, um, I thought I'd do this video kind of describe what some of us go through. Um, my, my mind um, haven't really been thinking straight today. Um, but I think it's you know down to stress. Um, which most people will think, well, I stress, you know, it's nothing, nothing new there. But a lot of us um, don't actually. <coughs> a lot of us deal with stress in many different manners, but it's our mind that can really fuck you up. Um, I know what's causing the stress, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it, and I know from previous experience um, that to what I'm doing at the moment, which is lying down um, in, the, in the peace and quiet, um, having my body temperature down, which is why you can see me with my t-shirt off and my other stuff off and stuff. Um, Yeah, um, I know when I have a low moment, and today is one of those um, where you pretty much just don't care about anything. Um, your legs feel like cement, very heavy, and I'm I'm a heavy guy anyway. I'm, I'm 22 stone. Um, so um, I feel even heavier today. Um, a lot of a lot of people that don't really understand depression, anxiety, and that sort of stuff always say, you know, it's all in the mind. Well, they are quite right in that. However, they take the view the inexperienced view that because it's in the mind we've got full control over what we feel, what we think, what we do and that we can just shake it off. <coughs> Similar in respect to when your place of work may say leave your personal um, personal issues at home um, and come in with a professional head on you know it's, it's that's not possible you just can't do it <coughs> we go through a lot um, and over the years I have been <clears throat> thankful to take the view that you know what you go through isn't the last thing in the world it's not the worst thing in the world there are others that are worse off and that has actually helped me definitely about five or six years ago that definitely started to help me um, come away from um, my first major dip 
<coughs> but you are still, you're still going to get stages of depression where you think that you, you're absolutely fine, nothing's wrong. Um, but as I found, as I as I have found out over the years, um, you will still experience different types, um, different ways of, of depression and low dips. Some people will continue working through it, um, which may work for them, and some people that do try and do that. Um, as I was uh, many years ago it makes it even worse um, you know I've I know in near to the end of March I know that that what is causing my own stress or the initial part of why I'm having this dip today will, you know, in, when that's done, then I'll very likely feel a lot better. Um, but it doesn't. What when the, when your your issues go away, it doesn't suddenly make you change within seconds, as in feeling better. You will have the, the heightened feeling um, that's, you know, the weight's been lifted off your shoulders. However, it'll take a day or so, or even a week, um, to get back to what I would call normality. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm doing this video, really, um, to show others that are dealing with depression but also to those that don't really understand it that don't believe in it and it's the whole stigma of depression or the whole mental health issue um, as you've seen from my other videos you know I don't um, I don't scare away um, from these types of subjects uh, you know I learned some years ago to talk about it to help others and by doing that it's helped me um, I know I've got underlining issues from years ago um, even from my childhood that you know I'll sort out at some stage but um, this this video, although maybe looked at weird from people that don't have to deal with mental issues, um, hopefully it will be a video that can help others, um, and it's certainly a video that I'll, I've wanted to try and do um, for some time. I've never had the the mental oomph to do it, and this 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 video is just me grabbing the camera, turning it on, and then doing it right here and now, and mostly because I'm lying down, so I'm not really spending much energy. Um, there's a lot of help these days uh, with mental health. Um, you have got dyslexia, dyslexic. Oh, dyslexia action um, dyslexia in action um, uh, there's a lot of things about dyslexia you've also got a lot of things about anxiety and depression you find a lot of them on Twitter very helpful people you um, will find a lot of helpful things via your doctor as well however you're still not getting the support 
via um, your work, the school, and even your family. Um, when people don't understand and don't know a subject, they will either laugh it off, ignore you, or ridicule you. Um, or even worse, give you bad advice. Um, but no, there are definitely, there's, there's help out there. And I know that, I know that today is going to, is likely to be a bad day for me. Um, but I also know that it's not going to last. And even if it lasts over a week, it's still not the worst thing in the world. It's, you know, I'm still going to have the good points. And I know from my own experience, um, what happens. I've just got to, like anybody else, keep a positive view of life. Keep a more focused view on, on the better things. And not focused on the, the bad things. Um, I, you know, that's what I learned a number of years ago when I was having a lot of problems with my leg, my back, my neck, my head. Um, and at that point, I was being vocal and, you know, being vocal of, ouch, that hurts, ow. I, I'm suffering with this, that, and the other, and that, that was every single day. Um, and I suddenly, suddenly realised uh, when I was walking down the street that it was bringing me down, um, and it was also bringing the others down as well. So, and that was that was with me figuring out that there are other people out there that are far worse off than me. And that's why I'm now grateful for the life I have, even though I do suffer um, quite a bit from the chronic depression, the anxiety, um, my disabilities, um, and my, my dyslexia. You know, there are a number of things that others wouldn't want others to go through. However, I'm actually grateful that I go through it, not only because I'm able to have an open mind um, and take in the knowledge of what I go through, understand um, what happens, and um, help others that don't know how to express what they're going through. And if they do go through it, I'm able to, you know, give them that that bit of help. You know, even if it's thirty seconds, um, give that bit of help um, to tell them that you know it's not the end. And that's and that is one of the big things that um, a lot of people that do suffer with depression. Um, and anxiety, one of the big things that our mind um, doesn't tell us, and that's why we've got to kind of train our, our minds into th you know into repeating it um, and to remind ourselves. So yeah, um, bit of a weird video. Um, but hopefully you'll appreciate why I've done it and hopefully um, it'll help others out there. Right. I shall now see you later. Bye.